Don't worry, cat. There's nothing to be sad about. And besides, everyone's got things wrong with them. In fact, there are many things wrong with me. One of my arms fell off. My short arm fell off. I have a folder over here, but I got some stuck on top of my eyes. I also have a tiny brain. So if you put things into perspective, they're not all that bad, Mr. Cat. Thank you, Mr. Hive, for cheering me up. I feel all better now. Hey, welcome to our scene on Krita Cha Syndrome, represented by this cat here that's crying. Krita Cha means cry of the cat. Because people with this syndrome, especially babies, present with a high-pitched crying or meowing. Now this disease is due to a congenital deletion, the short arm of chromosome 5. So the deletion on chromosome 5 is going to be represented by this hive over here, hive for 5, and his short arm fell off. And in fact, that's how he's trying to convince the cat here to be happy. Now you see, some, for some reason he took his folder and he put it on top of his eyes. And he's bothered by that. The folder on top of the eyes is to help us remember the folds on top of the eyes, or the epicanthal folds. People with creative child syndrome present with epicanthal folds. We also see, and as he mentioned, he has this tiny brain up here, to help us remember the microcephaly that comes with creative child syndrome. And this comes along with a moderate to severe intellectual disability. Finally, we note he has his heart over here under his mouth. I don't know why he has a heart under his mouth, but the heart in the weird position is to help us remember the cardiac abnormalities, specifically the ventricular septal defect that comes with creative child syndrome. We see also that this hive here has very widely spaced eyes, because widely spaced eyes is another feature of Krita Cha Syndrome. Alright, that's our scene on Krita Cha Syndrome. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel, and otherwise, take care.